Hi there, this video is gonna go through how to mount your action camera, GoPro and or etc. to your David Clark headset. It also has the lapel mic going inside so you get to record the ATC audio. I also have a USB coming off of this and it goes out so you can actually power your uh, camera from an external power source so it'll last a lot longer than the standard length of the battery, which is really nice. Let's go through step by step and figure this out. Okay, this is what you'll need. You'll need your David Clark headset, um, your lovely microphone. You can see here I got this one. So it has a 3.5 millimeter connector in this side, and then it has a nice little high quality lovely or lapel microphone on that side. Um, next, we have your uh, action camera. I have an Andor. The reason I got this is because it has a um, mic built in directly to the camera. The GoPros, you need a uh, special uh, mic. Uh, cable, so it makes it a bit more complicated. So it's a lot easier if you have a camera that has mic directly uh, in. Um, next thing we need is a portable USB charger. I have this one. Um, it is Anchor, and the reason I got this is you can plug it in the wall, charge it, and then you can plug your USB right in here. So you don't have a, another cable, it just makes it easier end of the day. So a bit more heavier, so if you want something lighter, don't get the built-in thing, but I like this because then you can plug it right in. Uh, right away. Uh, mount various mounts. The mounts we're going to need are this attaches to the camera, this attaches to our headset, and I use these three. Obviously you can do whatever mix match you want, but I found that this works uh, fairly well. This connects to the camera mount, then connect, connect to this, and this we're going to mount to our David Clark uh, headset. Um, also plastic ties. Um, I felt during many flight uh, things that the mic should be on the uh, right. This allows on the left side to have the camera, which also gives you the window. So you'll be able to see out the window. This thing was a GoPro kind of connector. This is sweet. The headset will still be very uh, normal. And then you're just gonna have this tiny mount coming out. And for me, it was very important to get it onto, um, onto eye level. Because personally, I really wanna see what the uh, person sees. So I'm doing it away from the microphone side. And then I'm simply zip tying on it. Okay, and before I go all tight, I'm just gonna mount the bottom one. Now, I found that it's important to not let it move because later on when you're flying, you're gonna, or simming, you're gonna really wanna have like the same, you're gonna wanna know where it was. You don't always, always have to check the uh, angle. So it's important that we're gonna mount the bottom part here. Now this is pull in. This is pretty good, but we also wanna have one last connector. This is my third one to hold this down to here, right? And this is gonna come in. And now look at that. That now is not moving. So now we have this, you see it's gonna go down here. So now we're gonna mount our camera mount. Now I did it so that the camera can be mounted in the front, like this. Good, so this gives you a few ranges of motion. You have the up, down, you have the, this angle, you have your, this becomes kind of your pivot. Uh, and then we have, you can rock it left and right as well. So what I want for my videos are to see a little bit of my head, like just so you know it's kind of me. Um, so with the wide angle, it kind of comes, but you can adjust that if you want to see more of the green or not more of the green. So now let's go through how to connect the cables. So the USB is gonna come over here lapel mic here. So these two cables, you'll see they're gonna come up around. Because there's already a cable coming down here, we're best to have the USB make its way here and down. Now, you can see all this extra cord. This really bothered me in the beginning. And I even considered kind of cutting it and soldering it back together. Ugh. But then I realized what I can do, the David Clark have this padding on the top. It's possible to add all of this cable 
into the top part here of the headset. So you can just snap these off actually. And now we'll take this off. So we have our camera here. We have our lapel microphone plugged in. We're gonna have to run this up here. That's fine. Up to here, we're gonna store the cable up top. So here's our blob of wire. And then we'll be running the microphone back down and actually inside. Now, look at this, how great this is. There's actually a little compartment. I'm sticking the cable in. Stick this back. Okay, and now that it's in there, you can see now it's very, so it's hidden, it doesn't even matter anymore. We can snap it back up for now. So we wanna put it within the ear headset itself and simply pop this off. Make sure you don't you lose this little thing. Flip it around. Go ahead and pull this off. Now remember, there's a little lip on there, so if it's hard to pull, just make sure it's even. So now it's very easy to work on this itself. So just take this off. To get out this stuff is to actually use a zip tie and just simply push it in and then you can pull out without breaking the material. Okay, so there we go. So now we wanna mount the lapel microphone within that. So let's have it come down here along the wire. So in this case, I'm going through the both. I found it's not good to have it too close to the mic, the earphone, because it's very sensitive in general, lapel mics. And I wanted to wedge it just kind of in so it doesn't move. So then the first part is comes the material back here, push it all in. And if you want to adjust it at all, you can always use the zip tie, kind of adjust and really hold it in there before you put on the cushion. So we could just go like this. I felt the easiest way is just pick a side. Please see it's kind of like a pull and release, but be careful that you don't break it. Now we're going to reconnect our headset thing. I simply just put it here, a blunt edge. I want it to go along these things so you can hide it. Now be careful you don't break them, just pull the first one. Very nice, it holds it. We're just gonna run the wire, make sure it's underneath, and pull and snap it. Plug in the USB. We're gonna run along here, and we want our USB to be going over here and then down with our cable. Just like that, and then you snap. Actually, on this side, maybe I want to run it in the back. So now let's make sure they're over top of the connectors. A simple twist tie, just to kind of hold this in place so that it is possible to disconnect it in the future if you need to, and you're not kind of stuck. So then I want to kind of... Very simple connector here. And then we need one more on the wire. And there we go. What's great about this is as soon as you connect the power source, it actually turns on the camera and starts recording. So that way, you kind of know that if there's ever a problem, if it like flickers or something, you know the camera will come back on and record again. Um, so yeah, and this set of, I've run flights for almost two hours and this is fine, it lasts the, the whole time. 
um, it didn't even use the entire battery. Um, now you know that using 720 versus 108 versus 4K will use different amounts of energy, so try exploring with that. Sometimes I feel because this is an action cam, it doesn't have to be super high quality, but other people might want really high quality. So that's it. So let's say you want to mount this camera on something else. So to take off, it'll simply be release, unplug, unplug, and now your camera is separate. If you don't want to tear the camera one day, just simply take this off, pack this up over here, and now you have something that doesn't need to be fully attached all the time. The cables are fairly hidden, and you can now record all of your ATC audio. And you can see the camera's been mounted. It really is secure and stays on tight. Uh, when you fly or do your simming next, make sure you find that sweet spot on your head so that it, you can find that place and then you'll know that the angle will be the same when you do it again. You could also put liquid paper on all the connections so that you can actually set up the perfect uh, angle and then when you'll look again before you get going again, you'll really have a clear understanding that it's in the same uh, location. Thanks for joining us.